Welcome to another exciting episode on Youth Bridge TV. Today we find ourselves at MJ Grand Hotel right here in East Legon, where Youth Bridge Foundation, with funding from Open Society Initiative for West Africa, is organizing an engagement or an open forum for access to justice, specifically with persons with disability. You know, on Youth Bridge TV, we are always present to take coverage of any program or any event championing or projecting issues surrounding the youth. The engagement is about to begin, but there's one thing that's going to happen today. We're going to preview or show you excerpts from the drama series, Puzzled. I don't want to say much about it because the engagement has actually begun. So let's get educated.
I haven't ever been in such a drama before and I was very happy. It was wonderful. The Child and Family Welfare Policy is a document that when it got to us, we felt that the information there was no well. Because hardly would you see that when government ratified international policies concerning children and young people with our Children's Act, how we are able to now bring it home and implement. You see that there's a policy, there's a disconnect between the policy documents and community approaches in dealing with issues affecting children. Based on that, we ask ourselves how do we make sure that this policy is disseminated so that every young person, especially special persons that have disabilities, would be able to have access to this document. It's very important that duty bearers take up that role so that as the children are growing up, it becomes a part of them, the do's and don'ts, what is criminal, what is not, so that we have less children being in conflict with the law. Point seven, inclusion of persons with disability. A, disability is not inability. Get all on board. B, don't discriminate against persons with disabilities. C, value the participation of persons with disabilities. Respectfully, the floor is now open for discussion from point seven. We will have to make it a duty to intensify education on the causes of disability. And when that is done and everybody understands uh, the causes of disability and why some people suffer disability. I think that uh, a society as a whole will not discriminate against them. It's a good happening to be seeing that the NGOs want to support government to roll out its policies to more and more of its citizens, especially uh, a key population that is sometimes excluded in policy rollout and policy implementation. So we are very happy as a ministry to have the Youth Foundation um, to come to join us in implementing the Child and Family Welfare Policy. As a youth, do you really understand the policies? Well, not all the policies in Ghana that as a youth I know. Basically, which of them do you even know? Even a normal constitution, I don't even know what is entailed because we just read portions of it, we just hear portions of it in the news, and the education has been the breakdown for everybody to understand because it's not everyone who has the advantage or the opportunity to be in school or just be lectured on the constitution. Even with our normal high school level, a science student and then and, 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 and a general student, they don't have the same curriculum to study. One has an upper advantage with governance and stuff, one also has an upper advantage with sciences and stuff. So when it comes to governance and laws and policies involved, it's not all of the youth who are educated get access to it. So I think there should be a breakdown to a certain level where everybody will know his or her right. How does it feel? I mean, on set and all of that, preparations, I mean, to this day, uh, what's your general, you know, overview? Uh, well, all of the <laughs> hard work um, that the team has put together really all comes down to the audience. So, yeah, we're pretty excited. We're tensed um, just a little bit, but we are super excited about um, today's screening. And then we hope that the messages that we um, intend to pass with the story, with the script with the project, would come across. Okay, with uh, the Open Society Initiative for West Africa, they support issues concerning young people, persons with disability, and they do a lot of work within the West African sub-region. Speaking with the ministry, you realize that there are all these policy documents, but the dissemination and getting it out there, there's a gap between they having the policy and it's reaching the people. So a project like this, funded by OCI, helps that policy out. Do you want the truth? Tell me. You know, when we conceptualized the thing and we met and we had OCI funding and um, we had initial engagement with the production crew, you know, we had a budget that we thought, oh, this should be they came back and when they put down the cost of a camera, the production, the how the quality, we nearly ran away from the room, you know. So it's it's like if you want well
done and it's come at a price and we had to stay up overnight months for this to get to this point oh he love to say to osiwa and the beach foundation it's my prayer that you continue to support us in different ways with education areas youth bridge um, going the step further to come out with such an initiative to draw people's attention the most important thing is that it has a lot of key messages where someone who is an advocate uh, uh, who speaks about um, issues of disabilities and about abuse and in, in the privacy of her home she is actually someone who perpetuates the very things she spoke against in public so this is something that would set um, uh, the public's mind to the issues and start talking and i am looking forward to um, a very long series where a lot of the issues that we overlook as a society will be brought out and then it would be discussed. And I would urge um, all our viewers that it is very important to uh, make time for